Alright. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys and you lovely ladies, this literally, and I mean literally, does not work. I have to say thank you to each and every one of you guys that have come on the channel, have left a comment, definitely leaving a thumbs up. And those special uh, members that have become channel members, um, Super Chats, and people have gone to the GoFundMe, we are working hard to improve what we're doing. In fact, I am actually motivated like a mother humper. Uh, something kind of kind of twisted and, and irked me today, but it definitely motivated me to make sure that I become the best best most watched Dallas Cowboys YouTube channel there is and I want to introduce something brand new here today um, if I can zoom out my camera here okay there whoop. all right technical difficulties I should have known I should have known hold up I think my fingers have gotten cold here okay hmm not working okay there we go all right there we go we got it okay we're still getting all the bugs out now i figured since this will be our first interview our first time that we ought to do a real test here and see if oh, let's see yeah, I, I think actually it's a good thing we tested here with with philly 500 because i think he's broke the camera he has literally broke the camera oh. I just woke up from a Dak Anthony. Where's the fitness work? There we go. He he done You're broke the. Up on Z's. Jeez, he's done broke the damn camp. Look at that, Philly. It, it, oh it's my God, this this is worse time. than I thought. <laughs> that big ass head. Oh my God, look at that head. It's so out there. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Big. Perfectly round, except for where my mom dropped me. A couple of cents, but other than that, we're good. Philly 500. Yo. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great, my friend. How are you? Uh, you know what? I, I couldn't think of a better human being, and I couldn't get that person, so I thought I'd call you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm always glad to be the back. No, no, no. I, I, I never thought. I, I thought it would be great to have you in here as the very first person on our outdoor deck uh, studio here up on a 55 inch screen and damn if your head ain't big god i'm beautiful i am one oh uh, you know what i mean i so, see why my light, wife flights me yeah so tomorrow philly Yep. is the beginning of free agency. And I just want to touch bases with you because I've been so deep with the Dak Prescott situation and was Russell Wilson going to be traded to the Cowboys or the Cowboys should go for Deshaun Watson and everything else. You know, and, and finally we signed Dak Prescott. So mm -hmm. we have a quarterback. And so I'm just curious, how are you guys doing in that department? Quarterback? We, we got a quarterback. I, I think we got a quarterback. I, I like Jalen Hurts. I, I'm willing to give him the year to see what he can do you know i i think he deserves that they traded carson wentz away for him uh -huh. Not something that i agreed with doing by the way but they did it mm -hmm. and you know i think if we're going to go this route then you've got to give this guy at least a year see the one thing i don't want the eagles to do mark is i don't want them there's a lot of talk about this team possibly taking a quarterback at six yeah and and, and, and there, there's a lot if you're not sure about hurts Right, and, and, and this I is think, a quarterback draft. I think it's not. It's not surprising that they would. I mean, I don't. I wouldn't take a quarterback, me personally. But I can't tell you what Howie Roseman or, or the Eagles are thinking. <laughs> but I, I do, can't do they think? You. Do they actually think? I don't. I don't. Sometimes you know, I, I don't. I don't know what they're thinking. And what I don't want is I don't want Hurts to be in the situation. That Carson was, uh -huh. the, you know, year before, where you bring in a first. If, look, if the Eagles draft a quarterback. I mean, I don't think they're going to, but I wouldn't put it past them. That would um, be messing up another quarterback. You're just messing him up because you're not drafting a guy at six 
to sit there and and wait. So I hope that the Eagles do right by Jalen Hurts. Give him give him the year. Let's go see what he can do. I think the kid is talented. I like his poise. I like what he showed. Mm-hmm. He's got to get better as, as a pro, of course. But um, hopefully the new coaching staff, that's what they're supposed to be good at, developing young talent. So we'll, we'll see. Well, let me ask you, because I know you guys started out at some $50 million or so over the cap. I, I know the bloodletting's been going. How, where are you guys sitting right now? You've got until Thursday. Think about, I think we're about $10 million over. And um, they, they've been pushing back some of these contracts. Now, I'm not a big fan of restructuring year after year. You after ain't got year. no choice this year. But this year is that one year that's an exception because the cap came down, right? And mm-hmm. then you're, they're talking that it could be 220 next year. So yeah. you're eating $40 million in dead cap money. So if you're going to do it and push some stuff on, next year's the time to do it. So if, if it stops after this year, I'm okay with it. But hopefully it will. Um, we're going to be under the cap. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going we're gonna to have that's enough money cap. to do what we need to do. Um, they, they were going to have Lane Johnson restructure his contract. But it's said now that they don't even need him to do that. So they have a plan. I, I expect a couple more big moves this, this week in the next few days. Possibly Ertz getting traded. There's a lot of talk today for the Eagles that Ertz is frustrated by the Eagles. He wants them to be moved. The Eagles refuse to cut him, and they're holding out for a high draft pick. So we're going to see. Well, yeah, they, they, but isn't his, come the 17th, isn't his, his uh, money guaranteed? I, I don't know if it's guaranteed on the 17th. I, I know that that has got to be done pretty quickly. I don't think his money is. I think he's in the last year of a contract. I think it's, I want to say it's like eight and a half million dollars. So, so he wants a new contract. He's not playing unless he gets a new contract. Okay. So l- let's be honest. And I, I know it's going to be hard for you to be honest. I'm but- always honest. <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy or just plain stupid? No, I may I may say stupid things, but I believe in those stupid things that I'm saying at the time that I say it. All right, uh, like, you I, I think your team is uh, well. Okay, uh, the, to me, this is basically a gut the roster, start all over time. I don't think the Eagles are approaching it that way. I don't think they're approaching it that way. I think that the fact that they've restructured and pushed look. If you're if you're gutting the team, then why are you restructuring guys like um, you know like uh, what's his face Brandon Brooks? Uh, why are you pushing these contracts back another year and keeping these guys in the roster? If you want to really gut the team, then trade these guys away. They're not doing it. I I don't think they're, tr- they're they look at it like that. I think they look at it like they're going to retool. So and, and stay competitive. So so hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. So, are you saying do you think that your team can be good next year? I think the team can win a division next year. I don't think this is a great division. You think this is like some great division that, that everybody's <laughs> ready to win a Super Bowl? What, what team on here is extremely dangerous? Well, I okay, you, you know, I, I'll say this much. Okay, Prescott. I will well, say. Your defense stinks. Mark. Yeah, no, stinks. No, I agree. But you know what? I will say that Washington has the best defense in the division. Do. Okay. No you know, and no quarterback. Right. I'd say that we got the best offense in the division. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, our defense can't be much worse. <laughs> it was. Right. right. And, and we have 10 picks in the draft right. to do some work with. And we have about twenty million in cap space, so we got thirty million dollars, basically more to work with than you guys do right now. Well, so I you think- know, you know, and you say this all the time. Oh, uh, you know, going out and spending big money in free agency. But see, ho, 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 ho. now it's okay, right? No, 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 no. Let me back this up. Hold on. The Cowboys actually spent like twenty-two million last year in sour in, in free agents. And unfortunately, between Don Terry Poe and Emerson Griffin and um, Clinton <laughs> ha, 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 Dix and, and these guys that literally didn't bust a grape and didn't make it through the season, we just wasted money because, because well, oh, kind of like I told you about Deshaun Watts. Yeah. I mean, uh, Deshaun Jackson. Didn't I tell yeah. you? Didn't I say I told you? Same there, principle, right? there, here's the thing. There's getting guys that are named guys that have already gotten like two contracts. When a guy gets to be around the 30s, you're not getting a whole lot out of it. You need to get that guy who's getting that very first contract. Probably not great, you know, the the peak of it. You know, a guy who's 
hungry still. You know, some of these guys that haven't really made the big name because it seems like you get those big name guys that are 28, 29 years old, they're not performing well. We right. have just wasted money in free agency, and, and we've looked back. I, I've actually gone through with the Cowboys, and almost nobody sticks with the Cowboys as a free agent. Um, yeah. You know, Alden Smith, I, I don't know if we keep him or not. You know, he actually played really, really well. Depends on how much money he's looking for. I think the Cowboys approach is going to be let everybody free and see what's out there and then say, hey, you know, we can meet that, you know, right. because I think the, the market, I think, is going to be depressed. I think this is actually it the is. year to try and get some free agents. Yeah, it, it is going to be depressed. I don't like for us. I don't expect us to get really any free agents. I don't expect any money to be spent. I think we'll get some small signings here, fill some holes here or there. Mm-hmm. But I'm not really expecting anything big. I think for the Eagles, that the, their whole key is this draft. They have to hit on this draft. How many picks do you guys have? We have ten right now. I expect more. You got ten. Um, too. We've got ten. Well, yeah, we have ten picks right now. We have a uh, first, second, two thirds, no fourths. Uh, two fifths, three sixths. Well, the, that, seven. Uh, thank you can thank us for that fifth. Is that your fifth? Yeah, That's because right, we right. traded a fourth, uh, right. or we got your fourth for the fifth, or something like that. But we drafted Tyler Badish, right? Yeah. Who will uh, who, who ends up being a stud? So thank you very much, Eagles. We appreciate that. Well, I mean, look, our GM is not the greatest during the draft. Let's face it. What? what wait, yeah. a, your, your GM? Are uh, you talking about your GM? Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about our GM. I fire Howie. I'd fire Howie. Fucking fire. No, I, uh, you know, look, he, he, I, 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 you know, I've said my piece about this guy a thousand times. What an idiot! You know, when it comes to the draft, we can't. What an idiot! It kills me every time. A year later. That was more to break out. Oh my god! Are you kidding me? You think that was bad. You, they better not. I don't want Justin. I don't Jefferson want Justin ass. Jefferson's ass. <laughs> He's stupid. Oh, I was so I mad. I fired it. I wanted. To, I thought we were going to get CD Lamb. I, I, I was. Oh my it. god. I mean, how he's oh, got to be stupid. How he's got to be stupid. <laughs> what are you it doing? Still fits. You just let Dallas take him. <laughs> you. Oh. <laughs> Look, do, do do you ever have you ever actually watched that? I I have I've watched it uh, like once just recently. Oh my god! Yeah. Every, you know, it, whenever things are sad and blue, I just have to play that clip, and I feel so much better. I, you know, people. I tell people, you, you can't hold me accountable for what I say when I'm pissed off because I don't know. Oh what's gonna come. man! You know, but are you worried about Howie Roseman? Um, drafting for you guys and being the guy i mean because everything's changed except for howie i'm petrified I, I i'm petrified now he did get you all that one super bowl well i mean you you we can make an argument that a lot of those picks that got there were chip kelly you know this, those three years he had control um how he look how he does some things good he does some things bad one of the things he does really well is trades. I think he's very good at trades. Mm-hmm. Uh, he can be very, very good with the contracts and moving money around, but he's not good at talent evaluation. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm not scared of the six pick. Like I feel like the way the draft's going to go, there's going to be a guy that's going to be good. They're going to get at six. What I'm scared of is that Quarterback. second round pick. That no God, better not be you. You think that the Jalen Hurts meltdown was big? I, this would be <laughs> tenfold. But but hold up, but hold it. Let, let, let's let's be clear here. They're talking about five quarterbacks going in the top ten, and you're the number six pick. I'm not. We're not taking a quarterback. Uh, are you I, sure? I, I, are I you sure? No, I'm not sure. I'm not. I don't know what they're thinking because I know I could see Howie Roseman sitting there going, you know, we don't pick at six very often. We better take a quarterback while we can. I could see him thinking that. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't want him to. I want him to give Hurts an opportunity. Uh, if Hurts is bad and he's not good, we're going to have a bad record, get a quarterback next year. But I do think a lot of quarterbacks are going. I think you're going to see uh, Lawrence 1, Wilson 2. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I think that Miami pick is interesting because if you're a team that thinks Atlanta is going to go for a quarterback like a Justin Fields, uh, you Somebody's going to jump, jump them, maybe Carolina or somebody like that, right? Mm-hmm. So I think I think in the first 
first three picks, you could see three quarterbacks. I agree. Which, me- which means my guy's falling to me. My guy, Kyle Pitts, where Jamar Chase is falling to me, and I'm good. Okay. And I'm good. But what if, what if hypothetically, let's say somebody decides we want your pick? And gives you the opportunity to trade back. Let's say, hey, we got two number ones in a, a second. Where? How far back? Say maybe the twelve or thirteen or something. I don't no, know. No, I, I don't want it. I, I, here's my issue. This is where the Howie Roseman factor steps in mm-hmm. because I don't trust him to pick the sec twelfth pick, the thirteenth pick. You see what I'm saying? I feel like every pick that goes by dramatically decreases our chances of hitting. So I want to take the sixth pick, and I want to get the second pick, Mark, and I want to come back up in the first round. That's what I want to do because I don't trust them. Well, here's the thing that's kind of interesting. When you look at teams that have reached for that quarterback and traded up versus the ones that were the ones on the receiving end, you look at, like, Cleveland right now. Cleveland right. looks to be well stocked with players, with a lot of yeah. young guys and things like that. Because because you guys ended up using so much to get Carson Wentz, you use free agency to build, fill in those draft picks. Right. And so you look at it from the standpoint of, yeah, well, we got some aging veterans. You guys got lightning in a bottle. I have to congratulate you because you had the perfect storm in 2017. And congratulations on getting that Super Bowl. But since that time, you still had to kind of rely on those free agents that got old and had those big contracts. Right. You look at right now, the Browns, they look pretty good. And with the Rams trading up for Jared Goff, you look at the Tennessee Titans. And the Titans are a pretty well-stocked team because they got all those picks from the Rams. And the Rams, of course, have to do the desperate desperation move let's give away two more number ones right. and a third for matthew stafford and, and let's see if we can get jared golf to go bye-bye with them right. so i i know how much you love carson wentz i do i mean i, 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 I you know i know you I get like that him. serious man crush on him it's, it's over now how, how many so, nights did you cry i uh, it was a couple it was, well, right before the, the the chicago he was going to get traded remember to chicago mm-hmm. i i I, that was my breaking point because I was like, I can't believe we're doing this. I've, I've I've come to accept it. They got way more than I thought they were going to. I just <laughs> saw a picture of Carson Wentz working out with the Colts guys. Uh-huh. He already lost 15, 20 pounds. Which <laughs> run, fat problem. man, run. <laughs> so, he, so he's going to be throwing 40 touchdowns, and I'm going to have to watch it. I know. I know. But I've accepted it. I, I've moved on from it. it I don't know, man. They, they've got a rough schedule. He's got to play some serious defenses. And I hate to say it, but I feel like he's a little punk-ass biatch. Well, I, I think that, that part of part of why I was able to get over it a little easier was because I felt like this guy didn't even want to fight for his job. He just wanted to haul ass out of town. Mm-hmm. And, that, and that, I will not lie, I did lose some respect for him o- o- over that because I, I would have liked to see him step up and at least say the right things even if you don't mean it but he wouldn't even say it so uh -hmm. i wanted to see him fight but he didn't and and that's the way it goes and and you know hurts hurts is a fighter and and at least i know i get that out of him so i'm i'm excited to see him play if we traded back i want to say though if we traded back let's say to like eighth or ninth Mm -hmm. somewhere around there i'm okay with it that's fine but I get worried anywhere else. But we'd have to get a crap load. Because, Mark, I'm going to tell you this. The reason why the Eagles have cap problems, the, why we have all these free agents, is because they've been bad at drafting. What's g- good about having a bunch of picks if you can't pick? Well, this is true. This is true. And I can at least say that this is the one good thing about the Cowboys. We suck at getting free agents. Um, we overpay players. But we've been good at drafting players. And I feel good that, you know, we got the 10 pick. We actually have four picks in the top uh, 100. And the fifth one is 116. So if we can hit on a few good players on the defense, you know, like we did last year, I thought it was a great draft for us getting CD, getting uh, Gallimore, um, getting, of course, uh, Diggs, as well as, who am I forgetting? Um, Diggs, CD, 
Oh, Badish. Oh. Uh, Tyler Badish. Uh, we, we got our start and center. We got our slot yeah. receiver. We got a start and corner. And we've got a, a nice defensive tackle. If we can have a draft like that um, on the defense, and maybe uh, I'm just tired of the Cowboys going out and getting, you know, bargain basement shopping free agents. Get me one stud. Get me a guy who immediately will make the defense better. You know, I'd rather have one guy than five guys that are all ass. Yeah. Yeah, they're all ass. They're all ass. <laughs> yeah. So who do you think the Cowboys are going to take in the first round? Like, who do you <sighs> want with that first pick? You think, like, Sertan? Like a well, people keep thinking that Kyle Pitts is going to fall our way. You know, they keep He's saying, falling. get Kyle Pitts, get Kyle Pitts. Look, I, I don't even know if Pitts is going to make it to us. Well, it, it'll be I, interesting to see. I, but, but you know, they've got, of course, Sertan is one of the ones and things like that. It really depends on – for me, I hate mock drafts. Because there's too many variables in there. I mean, if the Cowboys go out and get a safety or get a cornerback or something, then that changes maybe how you're looking. And the wild card, of course, is who else falls? You know, if Kyle Pitts is there, but we can guarantee they're going to take him. And I wouldn't mind that if we go out and we get a safety. So I, I, I have. I, I'm, I'm right now. I'm trying to focus in at one step at a time. I've tried to focus in on whether or not we were going to have a quarterback. Now I'm trying to focus in that tomorrow teams can start talking to players, you know, and free agency starts, you know, or actually finally signing on the 17th. Let me focus on that and see what we do, and then yeah. we'll get ready for the draft. But I can tell you yeah. one thing though, when it comes to the draft, you, my friend, come draft night. You're going to be up here on the big screen. <laughs> I'm sure I will. I'm hoping I'm and sure. praying that you have that meltdown. Can, can you do that for us? What? I, which one? Uh, any? Just uh, just meltdown every time your team picks. I, I'll do a Dak Anthony where's fit and asleep. Oh. I can't, I can't. I can't do a meltdown like that. I, I, that has to happen instantaneously. <laughs> you know. All right. I appreciate you being here. You are oh, the very on, first interview up I on the big that. screen. And uh, thank God it didn't break. Of course it didn't break. I'm beautiful. And, and if you guys do not know, this is Philly 500, okay? Make sure you subscribe to the Dingbat in his channel. Go over, troll him. Don't be rude now. Don't be like an Eagle fan, which I don't see anymore. You know that the, the, other than Philadelphia, I don't see. We're, we're everywhere. We're polite. What are you talking about? Okay, with that being said, I appreciate everybody being here, and we will talk to you guys later. That is Peace. if I can get...